Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the interim light heavyweight championship of the world. Donaghy Abena and Alex Pereira. I know what to do. It's a hard left hook to deliver. And going downstairs, and those hurt him. Where do you rate yourself? I rank myself number one. Well, he doesn't lack confidence, that's for sure. Put the belt. For real, huh? This raw talent made his debut in Lyon at Glory 60 and has moved up the ranks to become the division's number one contender. Here comes Donaghy Albana. with confidence we asked Donnie Abena why he would win this fight he said I'm too big I'm too strong and I'm too good yeah he's got a strong mentality he's fought you know two of the most dangerous in the light heavyweight division he's fought Michael Dude and got a split decision one in his last fight he had a controversial loss over Artem Vahitov so he's not scared of anybody He has solidified his place atop the world's middleweights and comes to Miami on a six-fight winning streak. Here is Alex Pereira. He grew up in poverty in Brazil and says his main motivation in life is to show the many poor kids worldwide that there's a way out, that they can have a better life. He says, I'm no different. If I can do it, they can do it. But tonight, he enters another stratosphere of a challenge as he attempts to become the first ever man in glory history to hold two belts in two different weight classes at the same time. And even as the middleweight champion, he's defended the title four times, and he's wanted a new challenge now, so he's stepping up. And we've seen Alex Pereira really known for his boxing, and in his last fight, he scored a big KO win over Jason Wilness, showcasing head kicks and flying knees. Here's our tale of the take for this, our main event for the interim light heavyweight championship of the world, Alex Pereira. 32 years old, six foot four with an 80 inch reach. As for Donaghy Abena, he's only 21, ladies and gentlemen, and his height and reach are very similar to Poetan. With the professional experience, six fight edge for Alex Pereira, also the KO percentage advantage for Alex Pereira, but this is Pereira's first time in the light heavyweight division, so let's see if the weight plays advantage for Donaghy. 
Let's go inside the numbers. 11 fights in glory for Alex Pereira. Look at that knockdown ratio. 11 knockdowns. He's only been down once, and he lands 63% of his power shots. Abena still young in age as well as glory experience. Just three fights. My keys to glory for this belt is for Alex Pereira to control the distance and pace of the fight. He's got to use his counterattacks and showcase his good mixing of strikes with his knees and his high kicks. Where Abena, he needs the pressure. He can't be intimidated. He's got to use level changes and mix up his angles and his punches. And he's got to put his combinations together and mix in those kicks and knees. Here are our championship rules. Five rounds, three minutes each if we need them. Kicks, punches, knees, the legal strikes. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight. And it's a TKO. Open scoring. Three judges will score it on a 10-point must system. The scores will be shown after each round on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening, five rounds for the light heavyweight championship of the world between a young, hungry light heavyweight determined to defend the division against the world's reigning middleweight champion, looking to become the first ever to hold two division belts at the same time and slice off his piece of glory history. This bout sanctioned by the Florida State Boxing Commission. And at the bell, your referee is Wayne Spinola. From Miami, Florida to Lyon, France, glory kickboxing fans are watching in over 180 countries around the world. It's time for glory! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He fought for the belt in Paris at Glory 66 earlier this year. His professional record, 24 wins with six losses, six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet three and one half inches, 1.92 meters, he weighed in at 208.6 pounds, 94.6 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Suriname, here is Donaghy, the silverback, Abena. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He has vanquished all foes in the middleweight division and has put four straight title defenses up. His professional record, 30 wins with six losses, 19 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.94 meters, he weighed in at 205.2 pounds, 93.1 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, he is the reigning middleweight champion of the world. He is Alex Poetan Pereira. Once again, your referee in charge of this bout, Wayne Spinola. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. Any questions, gentlemen? You're watching now, touch gloves. Step back, I'll get you guys started. History will be made Step one back. way or another. Either Donaghy Abena will become the youngest title holder in glory history at 21, or Pereira will become the first fighter to hold two belts in different glory you weight ready, classes sir? at the ready? same time. Play. Here we go, light heavyweight championship of the world on the line, Pereira comes out, guns blazing. Let's see if Donaghy's gonna approach here. Has frightening power, at least in the middleweight division. Can he carry it up to light heavyweight? It's nearly a 25 pound difference. Yeah, Pereira just went right after him. Not intimidated by Abena's size or power at all. We saw in his fight against Michael Duke, Abena can take a big punch. Abena's not going to move back much either. He's content staying in the pocket, mixing good combinations. Pereira coming off that fantastic first round stoppage win over Jason Wilness in the Netherlands. Both guys exchanging low kicks. 
Dana saying earlier that Herrera's legs were like toothpicks. He wants to try and chop them off. Nice body shot from Dana. He mentioned he was going to attack the body as well. Respect that Abena is trying to bully what many consider to be a bully in Pereira. Yeah, he has to show he's not intimidated, and I think that's what he's got to establish earlier. Right here. He lets Pereira push him back. Oh, here we go. Fight. He's going to lose a lot of respect, so. Right now, really liking Abena's low kick. Good start for Abena. Shield approach. You see Pereira's hands a little bit more relaxed. Lead there for Pereira. Lena stands his ground. Pereira felt that Abena could fade as the fight goes on. So that's why one of my keys for Pereira was to control the pace. Left hook there, Abena. He caught him that time. Stop! Break me. Back up. Back Keep up. in mind, this one's scheduled for five rounds since it is a championship fight, not three. Pereira's got really good counter punches. He's got to be careful after his punches, not to keep his hands low and his chin up. Oh, nice high kick there from Pereira. Stop! Break me. Stop! Maybe the best strike of round number one for either fighter. Oh, good start to this world title fight. Yeah, close round. Very close round. Alex Pereira, nicknamed Poetan, hands of stone in one of the native languages there in Brazil. Of course, the current glory middleweight champion with a very high knockout ratio. Also has two wins over Israel Adesanya. You might recognize his name from his success in the UFC. Donda Giabain, a big mic in the corner, giving him his instructions between rounds. Born in Suriname, lives and trains in Amsterdam with Big Mike, looking to be the youngest glory title holder at 21 years old. A win tonight will be his 25th in his career. Hey, you can see that kick from, from Poetan here. Very quick, very explosive. Donaghy just had his hand there, but again, even though the hand's there, those can still score well. Kind of rocky through the guard. Another high kick from Pereira. A lot of Pereira. People feel he's just got hands. He just really wants to showcase he can mix his kicks and knees well. You gotta wonder, Joe, if Pereira landed that same high kick in some of the middleweight division, would they have gone down? Yeah, you never know. There's another three high kicks landed for Pereira. And a feint a little off balance. A knee to the sternum there from Poetan. And another one. And Abena holds on. Yeah, Pereira's decided to kick fight a little bit more now. Good strategy. Because you know Abena likes to lead with his hands and his punches. Abena now backing up. Something we don't see very often. Abena telling us that he doesn't feel Pereira is a true kickboxer, that he's more of a boxer that is has the capoeira style, which is the martial art that's more of a dance than an actual fight. Yeah, but Pereira's showcasing that he is complete. I think that's what he, he's constantly trying to show people. And Pereira said, hey, I'll, I'll take that comparison. Capoeira is how Brazilian slaves taught themselves martial arts so that their owners wouldn't know they were learning martial arts. They thought it was a dance, and they used that system to rise up against their owners and earn their freedom. Alabama coming forward. Wait a minute. Oh, Pereira may be hurt here. And there was a left hook landed from from Donaghy in that exchange. Both men's heads bobbling a little bit. And 
Ferreira's really good at rolling off punches. This looks more and more like it's going to be a stop-out finish for one of these guys, a knockout finish, rather. You see Pereira using the low kick, and then he uses like a little heel strike to the leg. Very few have used that in kickboxing. You don't see that very often. Knee, the middleweight champion of the world. Showcasing the legs, and then I'm sure he's going to go upstairs soon. Of course, win or lose here for Pereira, he will retain his middleweight title. Total strikes landed. Pereira, 46 to 28. Not really close. It feels like a closer fight, though. Left hand there for a Pereira's going back to that heel strike to the leg. The body shot. Again, Bader trying to push his way through. Pereira, but he's a nice one, too. Yeah, he slipped that two quickly behind that jab. Really wanted to attack the body of Pereira. You'll see his feet there. Another entertaining round, too. The most talked about rematch in stand-up combat history coming your way this December the 21st in the Netherlands. The rematch, the bad boy Badr Hari and the heavyweight champion of the world, Rico Verhoeven. We will sell out a soccer stadium. Over 25,000 seats should be jam-packed full for Collision 2. Saw some moments from Abena, really, you know, coming in with that left hook, trying to hit the body, but that was the probably the best strike for Abena in that round. But Pereira's those quick head kicks, the just short range, seem to have thrown Abena off early in that round. I've noticed when Abena gets hurt, Joe, he goes right into push mode, he pushes the attacker away from him. Rec uh, recommend that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you back up, you let your opponent, you know, continue his momentum. So off balancing them is, you know, a good strategy. Clinch enough, anything at that point. Two judges have Pereira up, two rounds to none. One judge has it even. And Pereira's really good at doing a good job at mixing his punches and his kicks. He's attacked the legs a lot, mixed the head kick, boxed a bit. Landed good knees as well. Not looking as confident as the round go on. Left hook raising the nose of Abena. Pereira so much more active. 130 total strikes thrown. Abena, 89. <laughs> Baina did have some good success in the first round with the low kick. Just stopped throwing it. <laughs> it's hard to believe that Baina is only 21. Absolutely. Yeah. To fight Michael Du. <laughs> then Vahitov, now Pereira. But he looks like he's 30. He's got a man's body. Really focuses on his strength and conditioning as well. He's hurt. Abena's hurt. Got him with a left hook. Abena eats a knee now, trying to hold on. Can Peloton put him down? And that is a knockdown for Pereira. He put every strike into that knockdown. Is this the beginning of the end? Pereira looking to make history here. Showcase good boxing, good kicking, and phenomenal knees. That's what a complete kickboxer is. Is he, Joe, the best pound for pound fighter in the world today? I'm going to have to say yes right now. He's able to just show and continually improve and get better. No 
But right now, I'm really concerned for Abena, who's face forward on the canvas. Yeah, Abena still face down as he's being tended to by the medical staff. And he's moving now as they try and roll him on his back. I mean, I have so much respect for both of these gentlemen. And I think as colleagues of the sport, we just want to make sure everyone is safe and get up and fight again. Here's a look at the first knockdown <laughs> as everybody gets a shoulder ride. But there is that right knee from Pereira. Really makes his right low kicks well and just came in with those knees. And off of the clinch, he found that knee. Baina just went down. But it's this second one that did the work. You see Pereira slip off, throw that left hook. Pereira's counter left hook is easily one of the best in the game. Makes you miss and makes you pay. Slip. Boom, left hook finish. The question was, could Pereira's power translate up into the light heavyweight division? We have our answer, Joe. It is a definitive and resounding yes. Yeah, and Pereira said he's still young. He's got hollow bones. He's not used to the man strength, and Pereira really showed that. I mean, it's not always about power. It's about placement. It's about timing. You saw Donaghy as he was opening up, his chin opens up, and that's where Pereira landed that. It was powerful, it was precise, and it had perfect timing. Can anyone stop that man? We will catch our breath and hear from the new interim light heavyweight champion of the world when we return to Miami. This is Glory 68. What a performance by Alex Pereira here tonight. We're still all trying to collect ourselves, Joe. Poetan moving up from middleweight, 25 pounds difference nearly. And he said he didn't change his eating habits, didn't change his training camp, didn't try and put on any weight. He said, my power will translate, and it did. Yeah, it absolutely. And he even said he could still make middleweight tonight if he really had to. So he really focused on the timing, improving his technique, and really mixing up his weapons. And he just did a fantastic job. And we were all really concerned about the health of Donaghy Abania. So it's nice to see him upright right now. And talking to his training staff, but a lot of courage for him even to take a fight at the age of 21 against this monster. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't look anything bad about Donaghy Abena. I mean, a fantastic fighter, fantastic athlete, and I mean, we're going to see him for many years to come. And while we have a few minutes, let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen, at, some, at a highlight from earlier tonight. It's our Manscaped close shave of the night from Richard Abraham in a fight that went the distance, tears everywhere as he won a split decision over Mike Lemaire. Congratulations to him, and he could use a shave with that thick beard. Absolutely, but I mean, a lot of emotion from Richard Abraham left his family for the camp and got rewarded with a split decision win. And Pereira looks like he's fresh out of the shower, Joe. No bruises, no bumps, no cuts. Yep, really good shape, and he controls his power a lot. He doesn't throw everything with power, sets it up, controls the pace, and he's just such a dangerous fighter. He was a 5-1 to one favorite, according to Nick Kalakis, out of Las Vegas. It seemed a little high to us, Joe, but it was right on the money. Pereira with a second-round knockout over a Abena. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an abrupt end with an official time of two minutes and eight seconds of that third round and ends by knockout for your winner. And now, interim light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to speak to the first ever man that has held two titles at the same time in glory history. Congratulations on this epic performance. What was this fight like for you? Foi uma luta muito dura, sabendo que o Abena tem um grande potencial, como eu venho falando nas entrevistas. É jovem, 
tem muito para evoluir ainda, futuramente, quem sabe aí, um novo campeão, depois que eu me aposentar. This fight was very important for me, you know, I wanted to, to leave my mark, you know, I trained hard for this fight, and Abena is a very tough opponent, and he is a prospect, he has a lot of potential, he's young, so one day for sure he'll be champion too. They said, or at least Abena said, that you couldn't carry your power up. You were too small. You would never be able to hurt him. That obviously was not true. How were you able to be so strong at such a much bigger weight class? I felt that he wanted to shoot my legs. He said in the interview that my legs were fine. But for him to shoot, he has to get close. My hands are very dangerous. He saw it. We felt that he wanted to kick us a lot. And but in order to be able to kick him, he had to come close to him. And obviously, his hands are much harder. So you're now the light heavyweight champion. You're also the middleweight champion. Which belt would you like to defend first? Eu não tenho, não, não faço escolha. Sou, vou ser campeão nessa categoria também. Sou campeão no médio. O que colocar eu estou lutando. É, eu quero lutar dia 21 de dezembro no evento do Rico e Badahari. I'm a champion in both divisions. I make no choices. Whoever you guys want to put, I'll fight. As long as I fight December 21 on the Rico versus Bader uh, show. I know you said many times that you would like to be an inspiration for poor people in Brazil and around the world. What's your message to those watching at home right now? A mensagem é que você nunca desista do seu sonho. Eu sempre venho falando isso quando conquistei meu primeiro cinturão. Eu falei, se você quer, você consegue. É só ter força de vontade e nunca desistir. The message for you to never give up on your dreams. No matter how hard they are, just keep grinding, just keep training, and it will happen. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe the pound for pound king in all of glory, the first ever simultaneous two division world champion, Alex Poetan Pereira. Ale Alex Pereira continuing to impress everyone and really solidifying his spot as one of the pound for pound best in kickboxing. He's defended his middleweight title four times, and now he just became the interim light heavyweight champion of the world. And hey, his sister also won earlier tonight on the Glory Super Fight Series, so the Pereiras will have a joyous flight back to Brazil. Absolutely. Father's been in the corner for both of the fights, so, I mean, a lot of excitement coming home to Brazil and the Pereira family. Let's take a look at our recap for tonight.